They say you should live your life without regret. Well, I regret waking up at 3 a.m. So glad I got that. Good morning from Death Valley, California. I'm Paul Dillon. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Oh, much better. I had to put a hat and a beanie on. Wait, what? That's not right. I had to put a hat and my hoodie on. A, protect my face from burn, but B, my bald head is cold. Anyways, we're in Death Valley. The truth is, I mean, we came for astrophotography. This is one of the darkest places in California. In particular, the racetrack, which is a dry lake bed. This place is vast, huge open space. Although, I really want and need to push myself as a creator. So that's another reason why we're here. No sleeping beauty. Ready to wake up. All right, everything is packed in the car. I think it's time for us to head out. We have one more stop we wanna make before we leave. Cody is way back there, somewhere in the distance. I'm sure you can see him. I'm gonna go run over there and help him. I'm hungry now. I have dirt everywhere. There's dirt like in my gums. I'm tired. I'm gonna drink some coffee. Nope, I'm not gonna do that because I don't have any. I'm gonna drink some water. I'm gonna eat some breakfast. Let's head home.
Cody and I are in our... Let's try that again. Take two. Cody and I are on our way home. We're driving down this dirt road, which is already kind of sketch, but kind of cool because we're going through... What are you... Are these valleys? Backcountry. We're... Backcountry Death Valley. First of all, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hoodie in the sun, it's only 62 degrees, but I'm just trying not to get sunburned. But I digress. We're driving down this dirt road and we see this old mine. We thought, hey, why not? We'll pull off, get a couple shots. I've never seen anything like this before. Truth be told, I did walk up there and peek inside like I felt like I could see in the mine, but <laughs> let's face it, they, they closed it up. Maybe I shouldn't be facing the sun considering I'm trying not to get sunburned. Let's try this again. But no, I have to face the sun because I want you to see this huge mound of dirt and rocks. It's crazy to me to think that at one point, this was a mine that took you underground. Like it's just blowing my mind. We're in this huge, vast desert and there's so much hidden like gems and history out here. It's so rad. Framing and lighting. I think I got smoothie on my mouth. <laughs> I recorded this exact part when I got home from, I wanna say Joshua Tree, that's not right. I recorded this part when we got home from Death Valley, but I left a lot of details out. I was on three hours of sleep. I was really stressed from the, from the drive home. Let me explain. We had a map that showed a route through Tea Kettle Junction, so we decided to take that because it was actually shorter. I think the way that we came in was 26 miles, if I'm not mistaken, and Tea Kettle Junction was 19 miles. Just made sense. We headed down Tea Kettle Junction, and there was a fork in the road to either go right towards Hunter Mountain. According to our map, if we stayed straight, it headed directly to the main road. We proceeded to drive down said road where you guys saw the mine footage and then the road kind of winded off a little bit further. We stopped seeing tire tracks, which I guess was red flag number one, but we just were so excited of all the stuff we were seeing, we just kept going. We stumbled across like a, I guess it was an old gold place, like a place where they, gold place, is that a thing? place where they mined gold there was a flipped over car there was an old car there there was a like a little hut or a mount like it was a lot of like stuff that hadn't been looked at in a while if that makes any sense or used we didn't think anything of it because the map showed there was a direction out so we proceeded down the road in which the road got more narrow and more narrow and more narrow and so narrow to where there was just enough room for Cody's car to go through. Well, Cody's car isn't a four wheel drive. While it does have a high, high ride height, so you can kind of take it off-roading, it's not exactly an off-road vehicle per se. So we got stuck in the dirt at one point. Because the road was so narrow, we decided to hop out of the car and see where it went. Well, we walked down about a half mile and it was a dead end. So we started to get a little concerned, we had enough water, so even if we were stranded, we would have been fine. We had a few gallons at that point. We had some snacks, so it wasn't too bad. It was just the point of we were in a place where nobody was. We had no cell service, so we couldn't really reach out to anybody for help. So I guided Cody, we backed up the car, we flipped around, we drove back in the opposite direction, which was hella sketch because it was already tough to get there in the first place. We started to drive back towards Tea Kettle Junction when Cody pointed out that we didn't have enough gas to get back to Tea Kettle Junction. Our only option was to go up Hunter Mountain. I tried to find some of the best pictures I could of Hunter Mountain because Hunter Mountain is a very narrow, extremely steep uphill battle with a lot of switchbacks, a lot of rocks, a lot of road bumps here or there. And mind you, Cody's car is not four wheel drive. So there was a few points to where Cody was trying his best to kind of make it up the mountain when the wheels are spinning and moving. And mind you, there is a cliff. I mean, there's not enough room to really even get out of the car at that point because it's so narrow. That was an interesting experience. I had never... I was pretty much afraid the entire time of 
I guess, A, Cody not making it up the mountain, or us starting to slide back and then falling off the cliff, I guess. So going on three hours of sleep, the stress of not making it made for a very interesting Death Valley experience. So with all that being said, do all the things that we always want you to do, like, subscribe, share, hit that notification button so you can get notified when I upload these videos. And remember, 1% better every day.